Hi, friends. You guys rocked your owls. Check these out. This next lesson, I know you guys are gonna love. It's on the element of space. No, not this kind. This kind. Creating space around and in between objects by drawing with layering, perspective, shading, size. Let me explain. Here's an example of layering. Placing the pineapples behind the front pineapple gives the illusion of depth in my drawing. And here's an example of perspective. I've drawn my basketball in the front left bottom corner of my drawing. Then I draw a relatable object in the back right corner of my drawing to create space between the objects and also a different angle. And here it looks like there's space in front of and behind my baseball because of the way I've shaded it. Shaded and not shaded. And here I've drawn two different size avocados in two different areas of my drawing to give the illusion that there's space in between them. I'm bigger. So now that you have a few ideas of what space looks like in artwork, here is what our next art lesson is together. Using color pencil and construction paper, you'll be creating one of these four desert scenes using a cactus as your main subject. Will you use shading? Or will you use size? Will you use layering to create space? Or will you draw your desert scene with a unique perspective? So if you choose to show space with shading, you will draw your cactus in the center of your drawing. If you choose the layer version, you'll put one cactus in the front, and then a cactus in the back on the left and on the right. Now if you're choosing perspective, you will draw one cactus up very close to the front of your page and it will go off the page and out of the frame. And if you choose to show space by size, you'll draw one cactus in the front, larger than the other cactus, which will be in the back. And of course, I will be doing a step-by-step -step drawing this cactus with you, but here is basically how you do it. You're gonna sketch it very lightly with a pencil. Then you're going to hardline it with a solid black marker. I really like to use Expo markers. Then you're gonna add all the little prickly things. Fun fact, they're called spines and they protect the cactus from hungry animals. Now that's a cool cactus. Now it's time for you to draw your desert scene. I cannot wait to see all of your artwork.